Hello, I am Jimin Hu from Peking University. My paper is Fixation Net Forecasting Eye Fixations in Test Oriented Virtual Environments. Let's start with the background of this work. Human visual attention is a popular research topic in the area of vision research and is significant for many relevant areas. Human visual attention can be applied to marketing strategy analysis, cognitive research, medical education, gaze-based interaction, collaborative system, as well as gaze-contingent eyeglasses. In virtual reality, human visual attention can be applied to gaze-contingent rendering, redirected working, layout optimization, where well content design gets guidance as well as airroad management. The research goals of this work are twofold. Analyze and review the characteristics of users' task-oriented visual attention in VR and forecast eye fixations based on the characteristics of visual attention. Our research is related to the Selling object detection in computer vision, which predicts selling, selling objects from images. Another important work is the sentence prediction. It predicts sentence maps from images. Recently, researchers have focused on gaze prediction in static reviewing virtual environments as well as gaze prediction in dynamic reviewing virtual environments. Com compared with previous work, we predict eye fixations in rather than setting objects or sense maps. We focus on immersive virtual environments and test-oriented situations instead of images, videos, or reviewing conditions. The contributions of our work are threefold. We propose a novel learning based fixation prediction model called FixationNet. We analyze and review the characteristics of users' test oriented visual attention in VR. We build a test oriented VR eye tracking dataset. In the data collection process, 27 users were asked to perform a visual search task in four immersive virtual environments. Each environment contains three types of objects, and the users were required to search for a particular type of object. We recorded the VR content, test-related objects, users' eye fixations, and their head movements. This video shows our experimental environment and the data collection process. Users could cast array using the controller to hit the target and continue to search for the next target. We analyzed the correlations between users' eye fixations and their historic gaze positions. The results indicate that eye fixations are highly correlated with historical gaze positions. The correlations between eye fixations and test-related objects were also analyzed. The results indicate that fixations are correlated with test-related objects. We further computed the distribution of users' eye fixation positions on the setting regions of the VR content. We find that the fixation positions are mostly located in the regions with high settings values. We also revealed that fix fixations have correlations with users' head velocity. This is the architecture of our model. Our model consists of a feature extraction network and a fixation prediction network. The feature extraction network extracts features from where images, test-related data, gaze data, and head data. The fixation prediction network 
combines the extracted features and the pre-computed cross resistance of the eye fixations to forecast users' eye fixations. This field shows our model and other methods' performances in test-oriented situations at different time intervals. The y-axis refers to the prediction error. The, uh, we can say that our model, namely the green, the green bars, outperforms other methods at different time intervals. We also evaluated the performance of our model on a previewing data set. The results show that our model still outperforms other methods in previewing conditions. We identified several limitations of our model. First, our dataset is restricted to visual search tasks. Second, our model employs pre-computed cluster centers. Finally, the influence of sun is not considered in our model. In the future work, we plan to overcome the limitations, improve our model by considering other factors related to users' visual attention. Explore the problem of forecasting users' long-term eye fixations, as well as convert our model to other systems like AR and MR systems. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.